So Timothy's doing that and Mummy's sorting out this from her weekend and things. I got a new doll. His lipstick looks a lot brighter in the camera. He's an our generation doll. His name is Tyler. Look, I got all this to smile. <laughs> um, and the reason I got him is because he is, apart from being dark skinned, he is a spitting image of my stepson, William. <laughs> now you can't get this one in England. We only can get Raphael, I think. And um, so I had to get him come over from America and he needs to get changed because Will wouldn't be a horsey. Well, actually, he's interested in farm stuff, but that wouldn't interest him. He needs like a camping top or something on. I did look at the My Life. They've got My Life set for the boy dolls, but I don't think that they will um, fit the R Generation dolls that are a bit chunkier than the um, American Girl dolls. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what I can find him. I mean, um, he would normally, he would wear boots, but not like this, like little lace-up boots. He would wear jeans with pockets in the side or joggers, black jogging bottoms because he finds them comfy. A hoodie or a checked flannel shirt like his dad wears. So anyway, so that's my new chap. And... I am going to call him William <laughs> because I'm going to find a picture to show you. Okay, so that's the Peter Rabbit thing, that's something else. So that's my bag just from being away. Here are some things I got in next. And have you seen these? They're the world's smallest, and of course, I collect most things. <laughs> But I love mini things like this. But this one is for a gift for somebody. But here's my mini collection up here. So I've got all these little minis. Etch-a-Sketch, the Sock Monkey, the Fisher Price. And um, they're selling these now in our stores in here in England. In some of the stores you can find them. And they're like a surprise box. So you get it. I think it was, yeah, 4 .99. It's a surprise box. And in that one I got a little Hot Wheels. And in that one I got a little Polaroid camera, which is just the right size for Kit. See, she's holding one of the little sock monkeys, so I got one to open. <laughs> one to put in a collection, one's for a gift. So that's Kit happily in there. And um, let me see, yeah, I can show you other things that are in here. So I got from Next, I got this. Oh, she didn't take that off. Oh no, that's the security tag. She didn't take that off. I got that for Annabelle. I got this for Heidi. So that is brown and black stripes. It's kind of like, you know, animal print. It's got little pockets. It's just a little cotton dress. And this is like, um, this is a pink top with a swan on the front and dark trousers. They're coming up black, but they're more like charcoal with a swan swimming on them. <laughs> They're cute, swans and lilies. For my little chap here, I got. I couldn't resist it. I love that colour. And I've saved up and sold stuff on eBay this month, so that's okay. Oh, this is, I bought myself a pair of short pyjamas. Those are the shorts. And here's the top. Talk to the palm. That's what I'm talking to Grumpy. <laughs> Talk to the palm. So I got that in there. And this weekend, me and Russ went to um, Bletchley Park, which is where they so solved the Enigma Code to end the war, um, the Second World War. And I took, of course, being 1940s, being, you know, a war place. I took Clem, who is a girl for all time, 1940s Clem. And we went into Smith's Toys while I was there, and I picked up, they had some Glitter Girl stuff in a set for £5. This doesn't suit Clem's theme at all, but I just try them on her for size, because she's 16 inches and Glitter Girls are 14 inches. So it came with a little camera, 
this adorable little satchel. I love it in pink. What else did it come with? This little like wallet. And you open it up, you put your passport in that side. And the passport even has places stamped in it. I'll just try and get it out. It even has places stamped in it. Look, New York, Hong Kong, London. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, what else did it come with? This is all. This is Clem's. That's Clem's um, land girl outfit. Oh, I must have put the other stuff somewhere else. This is it. So you go to Bletchley Park. You pay the price to game, which is £18.50. And then this ticket now is available for the rest of the year. So I hope to go again because I did take Clem to take some photos. And I was going to go round first and then take photos after because Grumpy didn't want to be with me while I took photos because he gets embarrassed. But I managed to take a couple while I was in there and it was so much walking. And with the fibro, I was like, oh, no, I can't do any more. I cannot do any more walking. So I'd needless to say, I didn't go back. So we also went to Smith's Toys and I got this Enchantimals. So it is a zebra with a girl who is dressed all as a zebra. She has a tail. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? It's adorable. So I got them. That was on sale, actually. So they must be going out of stock. And... I got this for my American Girl, the kit. It is our generation, and I don't really like for the American girls putting our generation clothes on. They've got the label, but from what I can see, this has no our generation label on it at the front. So it's a lovely grey woolly dress, pink earmuffs, grey sparkly tights, and pink boots. It's her winter style, and I love it because Kit is coming on a special adventure at the end of the year and so she needs to start getting a winter outfit. Then I bought, oh this is another thing that came with the Glitter Girl set, it's a scarf. I can't remember what they're called, they like double, they put it around once and then they double it over. So it's a double scarf. I got these for the little ones. I love them. Fisher Price is Mama and her baby. <laughs> And I think this is Sophie. Yeah, Sophie and her rooster. They're so cute. I love Fisher Price stuff. And for Christmas, I'm hoping to pick up, I think this one, the farmyard for the nursery for a collective present for all the littles. Because I always get Christmas presents for my lot. Um, oh, here is the glitter girl. Yes, it also, so there's how the scarf was. Is, should be on there, that scarf. And I'm stupid because I should have picked up a Glitter Girl because they were reduced. This was this set was £5. It's got like a postcard. So it's like a postcard of where she's been on holiday. And it came with those glasses. Little glasses. Although they don't fit Clem. The 14 inch head must be a completely different shape. Oh and it also came with these balloons. And you know I bought it really. Well, I wanted the other bits, but mainly for the balloons. <laughs> Look at the balloons. There are three of them, but they've got glitter on the on the handles. So I've got to um, put hairspray, hairspray on them. And then um, it won't come off, because at the moment the glitter's coming off. Aren't they cute? So it's a yellow one, pink one, and a light blue one. So that all came in that set for £5, which was a bargain. I'll try and remember if I remember to put a photo on. Oh, and we went grocery shopping and they had a huge sale on in Tesco's and I picked this up. These two things actually. Pick this up for Timothy. It's aged six to nine months. It was £3.50 in the sale. So it's a t-shirt with a crocodile on. And just some plain um, mild grey pants, jogging like bottoms we call them here. Just some plain ones. He loves wearing them in the winter because they're nice and comfy for him. And I got Frankie these. 
look at these beautiful earrings. It's one one set is a ball, um, glittery ball. One set is little stars with like shiny bits in it. And one set are white hearts with a rainbow and a star. And they were reduced 70% off. They were only £3.50 to start with. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I paid, I don't know, one thirty or something like that for them. Okay, so that's literally part. This is the items that my husband bought me at Bletchley Park. So I got the official guide, souvenir guide book. There. Bletchley Park is a unique place in the history of the United Kingdom. It is on this site that the World War II code breaking operation succeeded in breaking the seemingly, seemingly impenetrable codes and ciphers that were being used by the German, Italian, and Japanese forces. The contribution this made to Allied victory cannot be understated. Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister, ardently supported the work of the Government Code and Cipher School and also had absolute belief in the intelligence generated by the code breakers. By visiting Bletchley Park yourself, you can walk into the footsteps of the incredible men and women whose vital work stayed secret for many years. Everything was burnt after. So it's all secret. Um, you know, a lot of the outcomes and things are secret. But I had an absolute blast. It was a lot of um, a lot of reading of things. It was um, quite a large area to look around and that. But I loved it and I'll definitely go again. Um, he bought me this book, The Bletchley Girls, War, Secrecy, Love and Loss. Because this is more my interest. My interest is in how people lived during those times how people have lived in history and also got this set and it is replicas of all sorts of uh, things in here so I'll open this up another day it's got like a children's newspaper a ration book a little menu for making puddings and sweets on rations a little replica um, cinema ticket it's really, really good. Really, really good. I loved it all. So it would be perfect um, in, um, God, what's your name? In Clementine's little space on the shelf for when I do separate photos for her for Instagram. And with the chillier weather coming up, I got myself a hoodie. See, and it's got a big code on it because that's what they did. They used the bomb machine to break the codes. So Bletchley Park, home of the Code Breakers. It's navy blue. It's in extra large because I love them large and then they usually shrink up a bit. But that's what I wear in the winter is just hoodies, hoodies, hoodies. So that was from there. And then I wanted to show you stuff I bought the other day when I went shopping. I went food shopping. I bought this for Annabelle. Because Yvonne, in having you on, sometimes does monster steam. And I don't have anything for monsters. So I bought this for Annabelle. It's a white long sleeve t-shirt type top. And it says, I heart monsters. And the heart is all smooth and furry. And it's got antlers coming. Not antlers. um, Like beanie bopper things coming out the top. Or it could be their antennae. I don't know. It says, I heart monsters. And these are the pants that go with it. So that was £3.50. These bottoms were £5. And they are grey. And on the front, it's like a big pocket. You put both hands in, it's a big pocket. The front of that pocket is the same pink furry as the top is. And it's got the picture of the monster on it. And it says little monster as well. So that was for Annabelle for the winter. And then I seen these, I got these for Heidi because a while back I bought a little long sleeve top in this um, mustard colour for her for the winter and they didn't have these in her size at the time so I bought these as well. I don't really like jeans on babies but these are super super soft material and these were £9. Just, I didn't get all of this in one go, <laughs> alright? Well that stuff I did but I didn't pay for all of it um, and so then for Frankie I got this this was in the sale and it is a nutmeg 
Um, that's nutmeg. That's the name of Morrison's. It's um, a yellow top with a unicorn on the front. It's kind of like a flared top, sweatshirty kind of material with a unicorn on and uh, and a what's that thing called? A rainbow. <laughs> I bet you're all shouting at the screen. A rainbow on. So the top was two twenty five in the sale. Then I picked up these trousers and thought they would, she would love them. They obviously go with it. On the one knee, they've got a unicorn and it says wow. And on the other knee, it says smile with hearts and star. And they were reduced to two pounds. So that is that outfit there for four pounds 25 for Frankie. But I also, because it's been so hot here, I picked up this plain yellow one as well. It's literally plain yellow on both sides. Um, a little bit um, a ruched on the front with some um, yellow, it's not lacing, it's like cotton embroidery um, on glaze type material. It's cotton, yeah, and it's got a lovely design on it. And that was £2.50 in the sale. So she's got like two outfits there, two sets of outfits, and that was for Frankie. <laughs> and what do you think of the goodies that I got? Which was your favourite? Don't forget to comment down below. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope you have a great week. Bye.